Hi, my name is Itas Kunahuria and I work as a finance GD consultant at Eteris. In this tutorial, we will show you how to create and subscribe to a notification based on a watch list with GD Edwards 9.2 and to release 9.2.2.4. For this demo, we will be using an existing watch list that counts vouchers on hold for a specific supplier. So for this purpose, we need to start our watch list and supplier ledger inquiry application. From this interactive application, we will need to create a query and based on that a watch list. We can do both things from the icons displayed at the right bottom. Here we have the query manager where we will define the criteria for the query that will be searching how many vouchers we have meeting these conditions in this case, we are searching how many vouchers on hold we have for a specific supplier and a specific company. After saving this query, we need to go to the watch list manager. As they are based always in queries, you need to display the name dialog box and pick which query you want to use as a base for this watch list. After choosing the query, just save the watch list. After that, we go to the GD Edwards Enterprise One Orchestrator and click on Notifications. From the home screen in notifications, you can see all the notifications that have been that have been created so far. So to click a new one, we go and click new notification button. As we said at the beginning, we are gonna be using examples already created for this demo. So we will go in detail for the notification made for vouchers on hold for this specific supplier. When you are creating notifications, you will be required to fill several data in order to make it work, beginning with notification name and a little description of it. The type of notification will be watch list, as this is based on watch list created in Giddy Edwards. After that, you can set on or off run as subscriber. This control how the notification is running the system. If you had this control on, means that it will run separately for each subscriber using its subscriber security settings in GD Edwards. After that, we need to display watch list and select from here which watch list from GD Edwards we want to use. It can be a private one or a shared one. After that, we go to message and displaying the dialog box, we need to here to fill the message that we want the user to see when the notification arrives to GD Edwards. We will have to specify the header and the body message. Also with the message comes along an interactive application link that the user can click on it to see the data in the application. In this case, as we are checking how many vouchers we have on hold, we have a specified supplier ledger inquiry application. It is also displayed 
several fields that you can also use to specify a default value that will be pre-filled when the user use that link that will come along with the notification. In this case, we have a specified company and supplier number. After message step, last step will be to specify the frequency of the notification and that will be made through a schedule. Needs to say that a schedule will not work until your scheduler administrator starts this job for processing. But after that, you, you can, from here, you can specify how often you want the notification to be run in GD Edwards and therefore to be delivered to users. After setting all those aspects, you just save the notification. After saving the notification in the GD Edwards orchestrator, you can make it public. To do that, we go to the user defined objects application. From here, search the objects that you have been creating, notification, watchlist, and query. Select all of them and from row exit, click on approve, share option. In this case, we already have approved and share three of them. Next step is going to be to subscribe ourselves to the notification. And to do that, we need to go to the menu from our user under personalization and click on my subscriptions. When this is displayed, we just click on add subscription and we will be able to choose from here which notifications created in GD Edwards Orchestrator we want to subscribe ourselves. Choosing between personal, shared and pending approval. As we have shared already our notification, this will be under here. Voucher from Universal on hold. When you select the watch list, when you select the notification you want to subscribe, in configuration you have to select which delivery methods will be used to deliver the notification to your user ID. It can be through notification list, which means you will be able to see the notification under the bell icon in GD Edwards. Second is work center, so you will be also receiving the message in the work center. And the third one is email. Set it on if you want to receive the notification in a specific email. Last step for subscription will be to specify policy. In this case, you need to tell GD Edwards how often you want to receive the notification or where to say in which cases. If it's going to be always, no matter which rule, or if you want that GD Edwards follow a rule based on the watch list, and when the rule is or the criteria is met, then you receive the notification, which means that if I put here that only if watch list level equals critical, it means that only when vouchers on hold goes over five, then I will receive that notification. But we will leave it as always to test the notification. We already saved the subscription, so I will discard the changes. 
to see that the notification is correctly set up, we come back to the GD Edwards orchestrator. Going through the menu and clicking from the home page on notifications and then selecting the one that we set up, we click on test to test the notifications delivered on GD Airways, we need to display dispatch notifications and click on execute. The result for this test is true, success true. So it means that we will be receiving the notification under the bell icon in GD Edwards application. Clicking on the notification list, we see that notification has been delivered with two icons. One is the direct link to supplier ledger inquiry application and also the rubbish bin icon. Just in case you are already aware of the notification and you want to delete it from the list. Clicking here, you will be able to see the body message delivered and also comes along with the link at the bottom. If you click on the link, then it will take you to the interactive application of supplier ledger inquiry. And in this case, as we set up in the orchestrator, it will come with the pre-filled value supplier number and company number. When we did the subscription, we also said that we want to receive the notification in the work center, which means that if we go to our work center, notification will be in personal in basket. Here is displaying just the message that we set up in the orchestrator, but displaying also the dialog box Second will always be the link to the interactive application that we set up in the notification. It is pretty similar to what you already have for approving orders or releasing orders from hold. Clicking on the link, it will take you to the interactive application as in the same way as before, it will be coming with pre-filled values of supplier number and document number for the company. So that's all for this demo where we have shown how to subscribe a notification based on a watch list with GD Edwards 9.2. Thanks for watching.